In 1982, The Who came out with their album, It's Hard. The first single to my recollection on the album was a song called Athena. It wasn't a huge hit, but whenever it did get played on the radio, visions of Battlestar Galactica's lovely Marin Jensen would pop into my head. There were a lot of really beautiful ladies on that show, among them the forever young Jane Seymour. But none were more beautiful than Lieutenant Athena, Commander Adama's only daughter. The role of Athena was originally intended to be central to the series, but Marin was not an experienced actress, and despite considerable improvement over time, her screen time was gradually reduced. First, the role of Cassiopeia began to expand to fill the role Athena had been designed to play, and then the character of Lieutenant Sheba was introduced midway through the season. In fact, Athena was the only major recurring character not to appear for the entire run of the show, as Marin Jensen left the series after Greetings from Earth. According to stories, Marin's departure from the show was at least in part due to her rocky relationship with producer Glenn A. Larson, who lost patience with the novice actress, especially when she struggled to deliver lines with the resonance that her counterparts seemed to do so effortlessly. I'm just speculating here, but it is possible that those struggles ultimately helped her to make a decision to walk away from it all. Of course, it is seldom just one thing, so let's continue. And that's not to say that we didn't see Marin again. She showed up on shows like The Love Boat, Fantasy Island, and, as seen here, Battle of the Network Stars. And in 1981, Marin was in the Wes Craven film Deadly Blessing with Sharon Stone. Personally, I think Marin was truly beginning to hold her own. Maybe it's because she was working with such a great director. But Jensen's work in this film showed true promise. Unfortunately, after Deadly Blessing, Marin contracted Epstein-Barr Syndrome, which is a virus that even today is not fully understood. When contracted by an adult, its symptoms can include such things as fatigue, fever, inflamed throat, swollen lymph nodes, rashes. Bottom line, it's not a good thing. Around the same time, Marin began a relationship with singer Don Henley of the Eagles. It was a relationship that would last years. In 1985, Marin made a cameo in the video for Henley's song, Not Enough Love in the World. Although they broke up shortly afterward, Jensen and Henley have remained friends and have worked together for causes that they believe in. Case in point, Jensen helped Henley establish the Walden Woods Project in the early 90s. Beyond that, you know what, there really isn't a lot more to share. Marin has been very purposeful in stepping away from the limelight. And in order to respect her privacy, I'll just say that Ms. Jensen currently resides in the New York metro area. I know, it's a bit of a letdown. She's just a very private person. Personally, I hope she's happy and I hope she's healthy. So there you go. I wish I had more to share, I really do. But much like Pamela Hensley, Princess Ardala from Buck Rogers, there just isn't much out there. Truthfully though, I think knowing that she's living the life that she wants to live should be enough for those of us who enjoyed her work for the brief period of time that she played the game in La La Land. Anyway, what do you think? Did you enjoy Marin's work on Battlestar Galactica? Or did you enjoy the later episodes with Lieutenant Sheba more? Let me know what you think in the comments section and while you're at it, I'd love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I'd be honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and television, mostly from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.